Hey, I'm Jason Creel, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a centipede lawn that is full of weeds. I'm gonna spray it with two products, and we're gonna see, uh, show you the results and show you how it works, how to kill these weeds without actually killing the grass in the lawn. Let's get started right now. Okay, so here's the lawn, centipede, I guess. Okay, so you know, we say centipede now. Is there some weeds in here? Oh yeah, there is definitely some weeds in here. So you got white clover, you got uh, field matter. Is that with a little purple flower all over it? That's field matter. I think this little lily pad thing here is, is dichondra, I believe. Um, let's see, you see a lot of that little stuff looking at you right there. Uh, these are some tough weeds. Now you got, uh, and then you've got some, uh, you know, ryegrass or fescue, some cool season grasses. Now I'm in Alabama, we don't, we don't uh, have cool season grasses in my area except when you get crops like this and you're trying to get them out of our warm season lawn. So a lot of uh, weeds. And what I'm gonna spray today is a combination of two products. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the two products and then we're gonna spray this little area and we're just gonna see what happens. Now let me go ahead and tell you, um, show you a couple things that's not gonna die because I don't wanna over promise and under deliver here. I think it's gonna get a lot of these weeds, okay? And I'm gonna spray some and not spray some so that we can see, um, you know, see the results. But what's not gonna die is like stuff like this. This is Dallas grass. And, and in a centipede lawn, you basically don't have a lot of hope, just to be honest with you. Um, other stuff that's not gonna die from this application, most likely, is you look right here, it's actually some very tiny crab grass. Okay, it's not gonna kill that because I'm not spraying a crabgrass uh, post-emergent in this video. Okay, so the two products I'm using today are Change Up. It's a great product, uh, you know, centipede yards, and it's uh, it's good for uh, cool season grasses and warm season grasses. I mean, check the label to make sure it's good for your grass type, but um, very good product. And then I've got it mixed with Certainty. Now, Certainty is gonna help with some of those grassy weeds and also the sedges. Um, and change up will be great for some of these broadleaf weeds uh, and certainly works on, on a number of different types of weeds. So putting these two together, I think is going to do a number on this. Again, uh, you know, Dallas certainly has a little bit of uh, activity on Dallas grass. So it, it may help with that some, but it's not going to kill it. I'll just go ahead and tell you ahead of time not to spoil it. And it's not going to kill the crabgrass. But um, change up. I'm just using like a little two gallon handheld sprayer. You can use a backpack sprayer. I mean, you can put in a big spray tank if you want to. But in this situation, change up. I'm just using a one ounce in a gallon of water. I've got a little bit of surfactant in there. And then um, you use uh, certainty comes with this little measuring scoop. And on the large side, I put one scoop per gallon of water. So I've got a two gallon sprayer. So I put two scoops of certainty and two ounces of change up in two gallons of water. Now I'm spraying it very lightly. Um, if you have a heavy trigger finger, then you're going to want to spray, you know, uh, you want to mix it uh, lighter because you're, you're spraying too heavy. But I would rather mix it uh, like I do and then spray it, you know, uh, it, it'll go further if I spray it lightly. But make sure you follow the label, make sure you got your PPE on. I've got um, uh, rubber gloves, rubber boots, long sleeves and long pants on and that's what i'm going to use and i'm going to spray these weeds and these are some tough weeds i'll just be honest with you um field matter is a tough weed but i know change it works great i don't know if change up is going to kill this um when i'm when i'm calling dichondra or not this little lily pad looking thing i i just don't know and then these you know i'm i'm hoping the certainty you'll get that but i i'm not 100 sure i feel pretty confident about uh, these broadleaf weeds and the the clover change up should do a number on that so anyway we're just going to spray it and see what happens and then we'll come back and check the results in this video here's a the two gallon sprayer i'm using i'll put a link to um, this and to the products i'm using in the description
Now there are plenty of parts that I did not uh, spray of this lawn, so we'll be able to compare what has not been sprayed. And we will check back and see the results. And normally I'll say this, this is not a product that I'm gonna go out there and just spray the whole lawn with these two products. And that could get a little bit pricey. Uh, more, most often we're spraying like a pre and post emergent application early in the year in the fall and again early in the year and that's going to keep a lot of the weeds out and then it's a combination like this i'm gonna walk around and spot treat just those tough weeds that my pre and post emergent application did not take care okay so this is not something i'm gonna sit there and walk over every yard spraying with a two gallon handheld sprayer that's not very efficient or cost effective uh, but anyway, it is a great combination for some of these tough weeds. So we'll see how well it works. Well, it's been several days after the application. I want to check on the results and see how the weeds are dying. Take notice of which ones are dying and which ones are not dying. So let's see uh, what's happened so far. Okay, so what I'm noticing is a lot of discoloration. So you can see this, this one weed that was really active is, is called uh, field matter. And you can see how it's turning yellow and in some areas even kind of becoming a little crunchy and brown so that's a great sign uh the little this little lily pad thing i believe that's dichondra doesn't look like much is happening with that at all um you can see where some of these big grassy clumps now now i'll say this the grass has been mowed since we uh first sprayed the lawn but you can see i, I can just tell a, a color disc uh, you know a bright yellow color to those weeds when you compare that with like an one that hasn't been treated it's still got that dark green color so even though you know it looks like maybe not much is happening i believe those are dying and that's from going to be from the certainty that was in the mix the change up is probably having more of an effect if i had to guess on the field matter as you can see here so um you know some of the other things I'm just noticing, uh, this particular weed, I'm not even sure exactly what that is, but it doesn't look like much is happening with it. Of course, the Dallas grass, you know, I knew nothing was going to happen with that, but definitely a lot of yellow discoloration in here, and we're going to keep watching it over the next several days and see how it does. So again, going over here and, and looking at that same weed, the field matter. Let me see if I can find some that hasn't been sprayed. So you can see the field matter that hasn't been sprayed and it's still a lot of green in there versus what has been sprayed quite yellow. So I believe it will continue to discolor and turn even uh, crunchy and, and brown is gonna wipe this out and then hopefully give the centipede grass a little bit of room to fill in. So let's keep watching it. So I want to give a quick update. It's been about six days since the initial application, and let's see what's going on with the weeds. Okay, so you can see, uh, still got a lot of, lot of yellow, but I can find some that's even more than yellow now. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's not yellow, that's brown. That's basically dead. Um, so, and that's the field matter. So, and that, that is a tough weed. Like when I use a triplet in my, initial applications on a lawn it doesn't really do much to that weed so that's a great sign still not seeing hardly anything happen with this weed so something tells me that's not gonna die from this application but i um well let me let me let me double check that make sure see somewhere it's, it's definitely yellow on other weeds yeah it just doesn't look like uh it's doing much at all to that particular weed so you can see there it's still green um, you can see some of these other like broadleaf weeds are definitely starting to die. So, you know, it's getting a lot of these. It, it's not uh, doing much at all so far to the Dallas grass. You know, you, sometimes you get a little discoloration, but it, it's, it's just to be honest, it's not going to kill that. Now look at these weeds over here. It's still just fading out in a, in a bright yellow color and I would expect those to be a lot slower to die so um, but it does look like it's having some effect on those and the good thing here as you see with the actual centipede grass um, virtually no discoloration at all still nice and green so we're going to keep watching it probably check in one more time uh, before we wrap up the video 
So let's take one final look at the weeds that we've sprayed. I think it's been almost two weeks since the initial application. And I wanna see uh, what the results look like and then show you some healthy weeds to, so that you can compare. Why don't we take a look at the healthy weeds first? You see what the clover looks like in this situation. And um, you know, just lots of green grassy weeds. You got your cool season grasses here that's blended in with our warm season grasses and these are some of the weeds that we sprayed so let's take a look at, at what they're looking like so that the um, you can see here where it, it's not completely dead yet okay it's still got some green shoots but it's definitely taking its toll and it may be a situation on some of these grassy weeds where they're they're a little tougher you know it may need a second application to finish that off you know I think that plus just mowing it low and kind of adding more stress to it because that cool season grass like that is going to want to be mowed taller and the centipede you can mow it real short so I think if you mow it real short uh, it's going to stress it out but it, it you know could take a second application as well. Now looking at other weeds and see what's happened here uh, you can see some of this stuff's really turning brown you got you know curling and twisting still not a whole lot of results honestly on that what i've been calling dichondra uh, i'm not saying no results maybe i can see a little bit of curling and twisting there so it, it's possible that you get a little bit of activity on that it may just take a little longer but honestly i'm not seeing a whole lot but i mean look at there where the looks like where was some some clover there that just really got worked over and, and then you're not seeing hardly any discoloration at all in the actual grass which is a good sign see this field matter that's a, a weed that when i blanket spray a yard with a product called triplet um you know mostly in bermuda yards zoysia yards it doesn't really do much for the field matter and you see here this combination has just wiped it out and you, you see where the centipede now has room to run because of all the the dead grass here so really pleased with that and uh you know it, it wasn't perfect but it, it but we got good results and um the dallas grass you know not not much honestly it, it's just very difficult to control dallas grass and i think this you can see this but anyway you, you keep work working on these weeds figure out a specialty product that we need to get rid of the the dichondra and then uh, fertilize your centipede and i think it would start filling in where some of this some of the weeds were appreciate you watching the video hope you learned something leave a comment give us a thumbs up if you're in the lawn business or thinking about starting one you can go over to lawncarelife.com there's a lot of resources available for you there talk to you guys later bye